We're here with Tim Shepard, winner of the 34th Illinois State Senior, Senior Amateur Championship here at Mount Holly Country Club. Tim, we saw you were a bit emotional on the 18th green there, hugging your wife and, and defending champion Jeff Ott, who's a, a friend of yours as well. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us just a little bit about what was behind that emotion? Well, this morning our uh, dog was attacked by a dog and uh, it punctured his lung and he, he died before I teed off. Obviously a, a devastating loss and we at the CDGA would just like to provide our condolences to you. Very much appreciated. Um, back to the golf and obviously the <coughs> tournament at hand today. How does it feel to win another one of these championships? You've won this before in 2018. How does it feel to add your name to that trophy once again? It feels good. You know, I mean, it's kind of bittersweet, I guess. Um, you know, was, I, when I found out a couple years ago it was going to be in Peoria, I was pretty excited. I played the golf course you know, quite a few times and I knew, it, you know, they'd have it in championship condition and so I was very excited to, you know, tee it up here. Right. You built a three-shot lead after the first two rounds uh, yesterday and, and Monday. How did that lead benefit you kind of coming into this morning? Well, I'd like it to bend five or six. I, uh, I let some strokes get away yesterday afternoon that I could have got into double digits and let it get away, but, you know, anytime you got a lead, you know, you, you try to build on it, you know, obviously, I had a hard time, very hard time trying to focus this morning. It was, it was really hard. To, the short shots, the chipping and putting was very difficult. And uh, I just told myself when I made the turn, you've got to make some birdies. And I was lucky enough to, you know, uh, make some putts, yeah. you know. And uh, so get a little distance between the second place guy and myself and just try to get it to the barn. Speaking of those birdies, you were able to birdie four of the five par fives out here today. We talked yesterday about your driver and how that was one of your most confident clubs in the bag. Um, how did those short approach shots kind of help maybe mitigate the damage here a little bit this afternoon? Oh, it, it I mean, obviously, uh, I, you know, I'm sure there's a few guys here that may hit it with me, but, you know, length is, you know, especially with the par fives here. I mean, I got irons into some of them, um, you know, but, you know, even if, you know, if I'm not on the green up, somewhere around the green chipping, and, you know, so you got a better chance at, rather than trying to wedge it from 100 yards. And so it was an advantage, especially 14 and 15, you know, I mean, I 14, I chunked one just short of the green and chipped it to two feet, and then I knocked it on on 15 and two putted. So, I mean, those are, those are two, I wanted to get those really bad, so I was happy when I got them. You turned it one over, and then again, you birdied 11 and 12 before bogeying 13, but then you come right back and you birdie 14 and 15. Obviously, a couple of birdies and then a bogey. How are you able to kind of get back into that mindset a little bit there late? Well, I never parred 13 the entire week. Today is the first time I parred 17. I was five over on 13 and 17 in the tournament. Yeah. And those aren't hard holes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I just frustrate after making a stupid bogey on 13, although the wind kind of confused me. I thought it was helping. It was yeah. not. Came up short, made a bogey, and, you know, just hit the driver and hit the driver in the fairway. I mean, you know, it sets up. Uh, you know, for a, a good solid second shot. Yeah. You touched on a little bit, but you've, you know, you've won multiple CGA administered events, obviously. Um, but those have been kind of played closer to the Chicago, the city of Chicago and up yeah. north a little bit. <clears throat> you touched on it, you're a native of East Peoria here. What does it mean to win this championship here in Peoria? Oh, was, I can tell you, all my friends around the green over there and stuff support me. I mean, it means a lot. I was, I'm real thankful, you know, to, to be able to, you know, say I'm the, you know, uh, CDJ Senior Am Champion in Peoria, Illinois. Yeah.